Now, the only hope for a dead church is that the power of the Holy Spirit would move in that church to bring about revival and awakening. You know, in the book of Acts, Jesus tells the disciples, don't leave Jerusalem, but wait for what the Father has promised, referencing the Holy Spirit. In other words, don't you guys dare go run out of here and attempt this work on your own. But he says to them, you'll receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you'll be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and the remotest parts of the earth. And then if you read on in Acts chapter 1, you see it as the the Holy Spirit of God that births and empowers the church to do what God has called them to do. And here's the point. God's power through the Holy Spirit must infuse Everything we do, otherwise we just become a dead church. The Holy Spirit gives us the only means by which we can truly be alive and successful. We can do a lot of things. We can have a lot of activity, probably much like the church in Sardis. But if the Holy Spirit of God does not infuse all of those activities, then we are simply spinning our wheels and casting our words to the wind. So here, Christ identifies himself as the one who brings the Holy Spirit of God and the church of God together. In many ways, Christ is giving them the solution before he has even identified the problem. 